Hey Transformers fans, welcome to another virtual read-through of Transformers Legacy, the art of Transformers packaging. And today we're going to be flipping through part three, Made in Japan, which starts at page 156, goes all the way until page 209. And this is a especially interesting one for me, 156. Since I grew up in North America and there was no internet back in the 80s and 90s, I did not know about a lot of these releases. As Transformers was drying up in North America, uh, it was still going strong in Japan and they were getting all sorts of brand new Transformers as well as some repaints. So right on the first page here we can see Roadfire which does not look like a familiar Transformer to me. And this is Minerva, who I recognize as Siren, the uh, mini Headmaster, Headmaster Junior. Or is that Nightbeat? Uh, and then these guys are so awesome. Uh, they combine to form Road Caesar, I believe, the, the uh, Brain Masters blacker mint and seal box we get a look at some of the boxes and 1985 package back a Japanese variant so here we see Devastator going against the, the uh, Dinobots to see Grimlock taking a bite out of I believe that's kickback swoop flying in is it just me or there are a lot of Dinobots here your swoop, swoop again, Grimlock, Grimlock again, a transformation sequence, Blitzwing in all three modes. There's another Grimlock. That's really bizarre. Uh, the repetition of characters, Insecticons down here, Constructicons. It makes it look like there's a lot more guys here than there actually were. And then you got the red tracks in the middle there. And here's Shadow Jet, aka Falcon, in Europe. So, some of the Japanese exclusives were released in Europe as well. And that's a character I'm not familiar with. Uh, Canada did get a couple of European exclusives, like the Turbo Masters. We got lucky since we were included in the Commonwealth for that particular release. Fortress, Maximus, got to do a full page for Fort Max's Japanese box art, which looks so awesome. And then you've got the train bots, who I'm not even gonna try to pronounce their names, but it is so wild seeing G1 style box art for characters that I never saw on the shelves, I never saw them in catalogs. So it's not like artists today trying to recapture the look and feel of vintage uh, art. This is actual genuine lost treasures for me as a North American kid. And we got Raiden, Raiden, who looks like he's the combined mode of the trains. And then Stepper, who was a target master, recolor of uh, Jazz, and then I know about this guy, Artfire, who is a recolor of Inferno, also a Target Master. So in 87, we got reissues of Coupler and Hot Rod as Target Masters, but Japan took it even further by recoloring some of the original Autobot cars, trucks. Twincast, who is a recolor of Blaster, and Sound Blaster, a black recolor of Soundwave. I'm not too sure about this guy. I had him years ago and I ended up selling him because he just the blue didn't do much for me. Especially since blue is generally a Decepticon color, but this guy looks awesome. Sound Blaster. Soundwave in black. And then this is an interesting depiction of Megatron. Kind of a different head. He's got the sword and the gun that the original Japanese toy came with. Never featured on the cartoon though. So it's interesting to see him with 
those accessories that I've known about for a long, long time. And here's reflector. Nice to see some vintage uh, art, box art for him, since he was just a mail away exclusive in North America. And this box art, 1988 package back with Power Master Optimus Prime, one of my favorites. You got Pretenders. They're actually making Pretenders look cool with this um, emerging of the shell. It looks so much cooler than just cracking the shell open. It's like one of those Russian dolls where you open it and there's another thing inside it. It was one of the last great back of the package art pieces. Uh, Fire Road. AKA Scorch, so that's a Turbo Master. And we got these in Canada. And I was so happy to see those back on shelves after seeing Action Masters, which didn't transform. And Power Master Optimus Prime with his God Bomber, AKA Apex armor upgrade. And that's awesome too. That looks fantastic. God Ginrai. Jinrai, Jinrei, Ginrei. There, everyone's happy. I know there's multiple ways of pronouncing it. I did it every which way, so everyone should be satisfied now. And here's God Bomber. That's really cool, too. I don't think I've ever seen this uh, artwork for him or haven't taken a really close look at it, which is the great thing about this book. Instead of just seeing a little piece of uh, box art, on an eBay auction, you get to see a full page spread. And Double Clouder, who is Double Dealer in North America, the Double Power Master. So there's this Autobot mode, which I always thought was weird because Red Eyes, that's Decepticon, right? And his Decepticon mode, which looks very Decepticon like. I love the uh, orange chest on him, that makes him look more Autobot like than the baby blue. One that was included with the North American toy. <clears throat> and Metal Hawk, always wished I could have picked one of those up. Definitely one of the coolest pretenders. Cool in both the, the shell as well as the toy. It had gold chrome on it. It reminded me of uh, Emirate Zarin, or however you pronounce it, from the Marvel comics. Simon Furman created character, I believe. And the... Well, we're jumping all around here. Ranger is a Power Master, or God Master. These guys are Headmaster Juniors, Ghost Shooter and Minerva. So this would be Siren. That would be Nightbeat, I believe. Grand Maximus. That's the recolor of Fortress Maximus. And uh, they really went all out with this recolor because Cerebros included a pretender shell with a head that sort of looks like the North American animated Cerebros head. It looks really cool. That's beautiful. I've never seen this particular artwork before. And once again, they made a pretender look cool. That's really awesome. And then you got the... Well, that's a spark bot. Uh, hard spark guzzle fizzle sizzle. I, I can't tell them apart, but He's one of them hot spark looks like a recolor of one of the spark bots six night that is a much better looking uh, Coloration of the Autobot six changer Quick switch I think his name was black Zerak. a recolor of Scorponok Decepticon headmaster leader and that Gold. As soon as I see gold on a G1 Transformer, I say, no thanks, because so fragile. Beautiful. Overlord. Gigantic double Power Master. It's interesting. Here's the UK version for you to compare with. And I think I like, I like the Japanese version better. They seem to have shrunk him down, compacted him a bit for the UK version. They've shrunk his arm jet. Uh, his face is less defined. That's interesting. The, uh, I wonder 
why they would tweak it like that and not just use the original one. Uh, Browning, which looks like one of those original Takara guns, like Megatron. Uh, and then you got Guzzle. That doesn't look like the Guzzle from the North American version. Oh, I love these guys, although these guys are colored different than the ones I have. The Decepticon Power Masters. Darkwing, Dreadwind, and they combine to form Darkwing, Dreadwing, something like that. You take half of one guy's name, half of the other, and you combine their name for their combined jet mode. And I love how they combine into a jet. So they don't combine into a, a bigger robot like Road Caesar. They combine into a, a big jet. And this guy looks a lot like Starscream with his coloring, especially in jet mode. And then we've got the 1989 Victory package back. So this is one of the ones I'm not very familiar with. Um, yeah, these characters, I've never really gotten to know much about them. I don't have any of them. But to me, it's always this fascinating uh, what if, what was. It's interesting. Uh, there's Power Master, uh, well, the upgraded Godgen Ray fighting with Overlord, two of the biggest Transformers ever made, and they're tiny compared to everything else that's going on. But to me, this is kind of alternate universe stuff. What if Transformers hadn't been cancelled, kept going? And I really do love seeing all of this stuff where the toy line did go. You got Star Saber here. Galaxy Shuttle. Never seen this guy before. Is he a combiner or just a it's just a rocket ship. Another Star Saber. So this is alternate Star Saber art. And then you get the actual box art. Victory Leo. These guys look so powerful. So gigantic. Going more anime look than the original Sunbow run. Blaster, Braver, and Blacker. Are these guys the motivators? Or the brain? Brain masters, I think. And they combine, yeah, and they combine into Road Caesar. So, interesting that it's three guys combining into a giant. Usually it's five or six. But in this case, you got three. Kind of like those trains. Is it the trains and robots in disguise? Multi Force, Land Cross. I've heard these names before, but I've never gotten a really good look at these characters. Makes a big difference being able to see uh, it printed on a big page. This is a big book. I don't know if you can tell, I'm six foot two, so I have a pretty big hand, and it's still pretty big in my hands. Great shot. It's a great name, great shot. Uh, Desaurus. It's a cool mace weapon he's got here. Kind of like Megatron's, just not lit up. And we're nearing the end here. Drillhorn. Jaruga. Breast Force. How's that for a name for subgroup? Hellbat. They've, uh, they've got glowing breasts. There's something special going on in their breasts, so... Hence the name, I guess. Leo Kaiser. Dino King. This is uh, Dino Force. Transformer. Kakura. These are, wow. These are kind of pretender looking dinosaurs. So the Dinobots were all metallic looking, but these guys look like uh, bio organic, kind of like the pretenders. These look like the MonsterBot um, combiners that form Monstructor, which is different colors than the ones we got in North America. And a couple more. These look like pretenders. This is Thunderwing. Or he, he sort of looks like that's the jet that goes in Thunderwing and that attaches to Thunderwing that way. Thunderwing was a... Uh, pretender where the shell could transform to 
just a different color. And these two look like the same guy, just recolored. 1991, Return of Convoy Package Back. Interesting. That is wild. And we have some logos here. We got the G2 logo, Pretenders logo, MicroMasters. I forget about the MicroMasters a lot. Um, it wasn't just Action Masters that signified the end of the line for me. It was MicroMasters too. These days, if you don't like one line, then you can go and just collect a different line. If you don't like Masterpiece, go get some Siege. They're awesome. But back then, if you didn't like Action Masters, your other option was MicroMasters. And that really sucked. I didn't, I didn't like either of them. MicroMasters are cool in a way, but... Just not what I had become used to. And there's Star Convoy coming at you. Die Atlas. And I think we are nearing the end where we started a new part here. This, uh, what is this guy? Kind of looks like Metroplex with the way he opens up, but. I don't think he's a recolor. Sky Gary. Sky Gary. Just keep flipping through here. These are all uh, bots emerging from a container, so I th think these are the MicroMasters, which can be contained. Six liner. I think I had this guy years ago. He was a combiner, MicroMaster combiner, which is kind of funny when you combine, or no, this is the one I had, six turbo. When you combine MicroMasters and they form a regular size transformer. And a couple more bots. This is a uh, Defensor, the protective bots, but a repaint. Uh, hot spots, pots, uh, hot spots, spots. Easy for me to say. Parts, baby blue parts have been repainted red here. So red works better for a fire engine, but they wanted to differentiate him from Inferno. So they had him be baby blue in the original run. Metro Titan, the recolor of Metroplex. Pretty nice recolor. Battle Gaia. And yeah, that was that's part three. And then part four we'll look at uh, G2, which was the rebirth, pardon the pun, of Transformers. So a lot of interesting original Japanese art in here. Very cool to go page after page and see artwork I've never seen before, see some characters I didn't know existed. Transformers is such a deep rabbit hole that once you start going down it, uh, 30 years later, you can still be discovering new things that you had never known about, and they're cool too. It's not just, oh, that's kind of interesting, it sort of sucks, but it's really awesome looking stuff. It's not just about the toys, it's about the art too. So another beautiful chapter of the Transformers Legacy book. The hardcover is no longer in print, but they are going to be reprinting it. It's going to be available on Amazon shortly. A soft cover, so that might be a good thing. It might drop the price a little bit for people. And that is Transformers Legacy Part 3. Japanese artwork. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed this flip through. Feel free to add a comment below and to join the tribe, hit subscribe. Third mistake.